Life responds to what you deserve. Life doesn't respond to what you want. Life doesn't respond to what you need. Life responds to what you deserve. And so if you want more, the only way to get it is to deserve more. How do you deserve more? You take action, you take right action, you take the action that's required of you, that you know is required of you in order to get to where you want to be, in order to get what you want. Now the best thing is, you don't have to be great to get started. You can make up what you lack in talent right now with boost and effort and giving more and working harder and fighting further and giving more than everyone else. If you can stay consistent enough, if you can stay patient with your passion, if you can stay in the game for long enough, you will win. If you keep trying, you keep working on it day and night, you give it all you got, you will make it. Don't move from side to side with every distraction that comes up. Don't let it catch you. Don't let it take you away from your purpose. Stay on the road to success. Stay on the road to winning. Stay on the road that you need to stay on to get what you want. That's the only way. You stick through no matter what forever until you get the results that you want. You don't give up when you're halfway through. When you're halfway through and the plot is just about to break through the ground, do you give up? No! If you care about it, if you're passionate about it, if it is what you truly love to do, how long do you keep going before you give up? Most people will make excuses, but if you want things to go your way, take full responsibility. Because that means you have the power to change it. It's up to you to make a difference. The power is in your hands. Now think about that for a second. That's all the power you need. The ability to impact and change anything. It's up to you. You have to switch out of that pity victim mentality and never look back. What gives your life meaning? What gives it purpose? What drives you? The voices in your head telling you that you are not good enough, that you can't make it happen, as well as maybe even the people around you saying those things, it has to stop, it has to end, that's not good enough, that's not good enough, you have to do better than that, you have to step up with some power, make a statement to the universe, I am capable, I am powerful, I not only can, but I will make it happen. Only you can claim your own power, nobody else can do that for you. You're designing your own future right now. You're crafting, you're creating right now. You're making your own experience. There are some abilities, some talents, some gifts you have that absolutely no one else can tap into except for you. I get asked all the time, who are you, Raphael? Sometimes it's the people who care about me and want to hear my story. Other times, it's someone who feels threatened by what I say, they don't want to change or improve their life because they're scared, and so they're trying to discredit my message. I want you to hear one thing from me. It doesn't matter who I am. The reason I don't talk about my story in every speech like a lot of other speakers do, the reason I don't constantly push on you why I'm qualified to share this with you is because I'm not trying to get you to think that I'm perfect or that I deserve this and that. I'm not after your sympathy. I don't need you to hear about every tough thing and little thing that I've overcome. I want you to actually feel what I'm saying. 